Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac. In one of my videos, I explained that uh, distance is the total ground covered by an object. Why? Uh, displacement is change in position. Displacement explains how far apart a body is from its starting position. So why distance uh, takes into account of all the uh, ground cover, displacement is only concerned with the difference between where you started and where you are now. Meanwhile, velocity is changing displacement with time. So we can represent distance, displacement and velocity in graphs and we can use them to solve. If you are given a graph, two dimension. So this is your y axis and this is your s axis. So let here be your time and let here be your distance. Then you are going this way. This is simply your distance time graph. It's simply a graph of distance against time. So if this is distance, let's say you are starting from zero. Zero distance and this is time. Let's say one, two, three, four, five and six. Then distance you are covering. Let's say time in seconds and distance in, let's say meter. So let this be two, four, six, eight. So if this is your distance and time, that means as you are going up at this point, this is two seconds and this is four. So if uh, approximately at this point, you are moving uh, four meter in two seconds. So that means your speed is equals distance over time. So what does that tell you? So the slope of this graph is simply your speed. The slope of distance time graph is speed. So when you look for this slope, if you like, look for slope this way, if you like, cut it this way. So anyhow you do it, that slope is, is representing speed. Because speed is equal to distance over time. This is a uh, change in distance over time. So let's say you are taking the slope here from this graph. If this is 4 seconds, so the time is 4, then time here is 2. Where you are picking it from. So we are cutting it here. And that is your change in time, 4 and 2. And look at here. This is 4, uh, four meter and this is 8 meter. So this is your change in this uh, distance. So that means speed, your speed will not be change in distance. 8 meter minus 4 meter. 8 minus 4 over time. 4 minus 2. 4 seconds minus 2 seconds. That is the difference in them. So which is 4 minus 2. So this is equals uh, 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 minus 2 is 2. So this is equals 2. And distance is meter. Time is seconds. So 2 meters per second. In any way you cut the graph, any way you uh, take your slope, just trace it down, subtract the time, subtract the distance, you get your speed. So that's distance time graph. Let's look at displacement time graph. So if this is your displacement and this is your time. This is simply displacement triangle. And for this, this is straight line graph. Some graph can be curved for displacement time graph, something like this. In that case, here, yeah, no slope but for uh, most cases you have something like this straight line graph especially for all level exams now this is your displacement this is your time the slope anywhere you pick the slope from is your velocity so this implies that velocity is simply change in displacement over time so we can take this as change in s take displacement as s over time over change in time so if you are calculating uh, velocity with displacement triangle graph is simply okay since this is starting from origin this is here is simply displacement that is equals 8 over time 4 seconds so the velocity is 2 meter seconds this is velocity time graph velocity and time 
and we are asked to calculate acceleration, total distance, and average speed. So this shows you that we can use velocity time graph to calculate a lot of stuff, and even retardation, retardation, which is negative acceleration. We can use it to calculate that also. Look at this time graph. So this is the final velocity, and this is initial velocity. So the body is not starting from rest. So it's starting from motion. Because if the body is starting from rest, it would have been something like this. So a body starts from rest, zero, goes up, accelerates to this point, then move at a constant speed, then decelerates. So retardation is also called deceleration. Then this will be your zero, this will be your uh, time, to final time, this is your, your maximum uh, velocity, this velocity at its maximum. So this is starting from somewhere. So that means it's starting from velocity of 5 meters per second and it goes up to a velocity of 15 meters per second. Then this is time, uh, 5 seconds, 10 seconds and 15 seconds. So this is your velocity time graph. So how do we use it to calculate acceleration? How do we use, to, use it to calculate total distance? And how do we use it to calculate average speed? Recall that acceleration A is equals change in velocity over time. So change in velocity over time is acceleration. And what is change in velocity? Change in velocity is simply final velocity minus initial velocity. So that's what change is about. So we represent final velocity by V and initial velocity by U and time over time. So time is also total time minus initial time. So initial minus final time or V minus U over the time taken to complete the mission. So in this case, what is our final velocity? This is this, this, so it gets so, uh, this is the velocity at highest. That is the final velocity. So it's actually 15 meter per second. So final velocity is 15 minus initial, where it started from. So the velocity started from 5. Look at the graph. It started from here. So this graph is acceleration. That's acceleration, change in velocity. So over 5, then time. So between this and this and this, the time it took is 5 seconds from 0 to 5. So even if you are subtracting, it will be 5 minus 0. It will still give you 5. So in that case, we have 10 over 5. So this will give you 2 meter per second square. That's the unit of acceleration because velocity itself is meter per second. Time is in seconds. So you have 2 seconds. 2 meter per second square. So that's how you get acceleration from velocity time graph. So the acceleration here is 2 meter per second square. So we've solved for acceleration. Now let's look at how do we get the total distance covered? Distance is the ground covered by the object, everything. So to get the total distance, we need to look for the areas of this shape. This is trapezium, this is a rectangle, and this is triangle. So when, when you look at the different areas, you'll be able to get your distance covered. You can take it to be half times 5, 15 plus 5. So that's the area of uh, the trapezium if you are taking here. So you can take that, then you take your rectangle and take your area of triangle and add. But if I'm solving this, to make this easy for me, I can take here like this. Look at this. I can cut here. So cutting here, I now have five shapes. So I now have A, B, C, and D. You get. So in that case, I can say for uh, solving for total uh, distance, it's actually solving for the total area. Now area A, which is a rectangle, is equals length times breadth. This is from here to here is five. From here to here is five. So that means the rectangle here, the area is five times five. This is twenty. Five. Good. I've gotten that. So remember, area is uh, meter square. I'm taking it as area. So this is 25. Now look at this. This is second shape. This is a rectangle. 
so it's something like this you see so the height is this is 5 this is 15 so the height is 15 minus 5 that's 10 so this is the height the base is 0 to 5 that's 5 this is the base times b times h which is 1 over 2 times base is 5 and height is 10 so this will give you 50 over 2 is equals 25 so that means the area of this shape everything is simply 25 plus 5 plus 25 25 plus 25 is equals 50 you see so if you still solve this as trapezium you still get the same area so do what works for you so i've solved that then i'll now solve the area of this rectangle area of rectangle is length times breadth so that means this length here is 5 here is 10 so from here to here is 10 minus 5 that's 5 and the height is 15 so that implies that the b area of b is equals 5 times 15 so this will give you 75 so we've gotten that now the c so the height is 15 and the base is 15 times minus 10 is 5 so half for c half of or 15 times 5 so it's equals uh, 75 over 2 so we've gotten the different areas of the shape adding them together that will give you the total distance covered so total distance is equals so depending on how you solve it if you are taking here as trapezium like looking for the areas together you take it as area a but if you solve it the way i solved it that means my total distance is equals area a plus area b plus area c plus area d which is equals my area a this i solved this i got 25 25 meter plus area b okay i solved this area b i got 75 75 meter plus area c c this will give 30 7.5 5 then uh area d which i solved here how big i got 25 fine so meter 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 so adding all these i should get i think 162.5 meter so that's the total distance covered that's how you do it so that is it now what's the next question okay average speed so what is average speed in a velocity time graph total distance over over total time and the total distance is 162.5 meter why the total time is Okay, this is the maximum time, 15 uh, seconds. So this is 15 seconds. So this will give you uh, 10.83 meter. So that is the total distance covered. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more physics revelation. Thank you.